Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and I'm back at you with another Kung Fu combination. Today's Kung Fu combination, we're going to be using the Chinese broadsword. So go ahead and grab your sword, and let's get to work. Now, a quick note about the style of broadsword I use, because I do get a lot of comments about this. I use a spring steel blade. Okay, now this is good for traditional martial artists and I find this to be nice in, in the middle. You do have some flex, there is going to be a little bit of bounce to it, but it's not too much. This blade can stand up and hold its own weight. Okay, um, it's not as heavy as combat steel or even the chromed steel, um, and it's not as lightweight and flimsy as wushu steel. Okay, that pressed steel. So this is kind of nice in the middle ground. And again, like I said, I, I really do uh, recommend this one for traditional martial artists. Okay, so let's get to work. Now, for this combination, what we're gonna start, we're gonna start in our uh, square horse position. We're gonna slice outward and then go around the head. So you're gonna slice, go around the head, get your arm on the inside, and we're gonna be using the blade hand. So keep all the fingers together, keep the thumb in. You wanna mimic the blade itself. So you always wanna match the direction. Wherever the tip of the blade is pointing, the hand is pointing as well, okay? So I cut to the outside, go around my back, get the arm on the inside, step across and away, and I'm gonna chop block here, okay? So again, I'm cutting to the outside step. Now, I'm gonna to cut to the arm, using the spine of the sword. I don't want to use the blade, so make sure to flip it over. Go around the head as you unwind the stance, and then take a step back, and then we're going to chop down here, ending up with the blade parallel to the ground. Okay? So again, starting from our square horse position, cut to the outside, chopping block, cut, unwind, chop down. Okay? You want to keep this one moving. It makes it look very clean. All right, so from the horse stance position, you have step one, two, Three, okay? So again, from this side, I cut to the outside, go around the head, step away from my target, cut to the arm, unwind the stance, and then I take a step back and chop down here, okay? This is a really nice combination and it's gonna make you work quite a bit. So if you haven't seen any of my broadsword videos where I talk about the back scratcher technique, check out that playlist. It'll really help you out on this one, okay? And if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Patreon. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description below. Till next time, this is Seafood Cuddle. Bam! Fist with a foe out.